Nikki Gailey proud of her Indian heritage, says no regrets over job. New York. Nikki Gailey has said she has no regrets in her job as the U.S. envoy to the unasserted that her Indian parents raised her to be great at whatever she does and to ensure people remember her for it. No, there are no regrets, Haley said at a session at the Women in the World Summit yesterday when asked if she has any regrets in her job. I am the daughter of Indian parents where my mom always said whatever you do, be great at it and make sure people remember you for it and so my focus is just to try and do the jobs as best as I can. The Indian American said here. Haley, 45, was speaking at the summit, a premier annual gathering of influential women leaders, politicians and activists organized by media personality Tina Brown in association with the New York Times. She speaks proudly about her Indian heritage, often bringing it up during her speeches and interactions. Earlier this week, while addressing reporters at the UN headquarters, Gailey brought up her Indian heritage when she asked about her qualities of being able to speak freely and openly. Every position that I have ever had, people have assumed that I'm looking towards something bigger when in reality I'm the daughter of Indian parents who said to me whatever you do be great at it and make sure people remember you for it, she said. That is all I am trying to do. That is all I have ever known how to be is to try and just do my job to the best of my ability and if that comes out blunt and if that comes out strong. I'm one of two brothers and a sister, my parents raised us. All to be strong, Haley added. When asked if she liked her new job as U.S. envoy to the UN, she said she does. I do like the job because you can move the ball. It's not just about talking, you can actually negotiate, you can actually change things, she said. Haley said she has a lot of interaction with President Donald Trump. I talked to him this morning adding that she visits Washington at least once a week for the National Security Council meetings.